first wanted to be a pilot. And I also wanted to be a soccer player because I loved a gentleman by the name of Pele. I loved the way he played the game and I played in high school. Um, so that's what I really wanted to do. And I kind of got to do that because I was able to fly on jets in the Marines and I was able to fly on helicopters in the, in the Army. But I uh, never actually became an actual pilot. I was more of a crew chief and uh, or you would say a flying mechanic. So that's what I ended up doing. Then I got lucky enough to become involved in education as a teacher of actual special needs um, when I got out of uh, the Marine Corps. Actually, I started off as a substitute teacher teaching Spanish, which I knew very little of. But it just led into uh, my entry into education, and that's where I am now, and I'm very lucky. I went to the University of Connecticut on a baseball scholarship was a four-year starter at UConn, uh, playing shortstop, and I absolutely had dreams of playing professional baseball. Um, when that didn't work out, I knew the next best thing for me was to become a coach and a teacher, and I've been doing that for 23 years. Hi, I'm Valerie Sarajan. I am the department chair for health and physical education, and when I was little, I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon when I grew up. When I was uh, young, I wanted to be an astronaut all the way till the age of 22. I loved math and science and I just wanted to end up in space somehow. I went to Purdue University to be an aeronautical engineer and did that for about three years. That was the, uh, most astronauts came from that university outside of the military and I did not want to join the military. So um, I pursued that for three years and then decided um, after three years that maybe I should be doing something else and uh, made a serious uh, decision to change paths. It was a scary time for me, for my parents, and for everything. But um, I then pursued music and here I am. When I was in high school, I thought that I wanted to be a psychologist. I even studied psychology at the University of Connecticut. And um, I always laugh about it now because I realized that I would have made the worst psychologist in the world. I'm a bit of a sleepy person. I think I would have just been dozing off during people's sessions. Um, and if not doing that, it would have been, you know, people would have come in to tell me their problems. And I would have said, you think you've got problems? Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. I would have been the worst psychologist ever. When I was really little, um, well, I don't know if I wanted to be. I was convinced that I was a witch. And I told everybody I was a witch. And I cast spells on them good spells if I liked them and bad spells if I didn't. And that was kind of fun. Um, then I think the next thing I wanted to be was Catwoman. It was kind of fun. And after that, I wanted to be a choreographer. Um, and I still, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that in my next life. Um, and then I thought I wanted to be a teacher when I first went to college. There are lots of teachers in my family. And one of my professors, and I think this is really unfortunate, my English professor when first semester freshman year, called me and asked me to come over to his office. And he said, you're the only woman that I'm giving an A to this semester. It's kind of weird, a little creepy. And then he asked me what I wanted to do, and I said I wanted to be a teacher. And he said, don't be a teacher. Teachers aren't respected. So foolishly, I kind of listened to his advice, or considered it seriously. I shouldn't have, of course, because being a teacher is um, about as respectable and should be as respected and is by most, more than any other profession, at, at least. Then I thought for a while that I wanted to be a librarian, I, and I think I would really have enjoyed that also. Um, I started library school at the University of New York at Albany, but I didn't like it that much, so I stopped. And then in kind of a roundabout, back-ended way, I fell into the restaurant business. My sister studied hotel restaurant management at Cornell, and my twin sister and we together did owned a couple of restaurants. And one of my employees said, I think you should be a teacher because I think you explain things clearly to us. And I remembered that that was one of the things that I had always loved. So I went to graduate school at Bridgewater State College, wonderful school, and I became a teacher. And that's what I've done for the last 20 years. When I was younger, when I thought about what I wanted to be when I grew up, I wanted to be so many different things and I couldn't decide on any of them. So at one point, um, definitely wanted to be an artist. That was always kind of in the mix, something creative. Uh, I wanted to work with kids. I thought about being a social worker. 
and I've been fortunate enough that I can merge all of those hopes and dreams into my current job. When I was small, I wanted to be a police officer. I actually wanted to be a police helicopter pilot. And I joined the Army to become a helicopter pilot, thinking when I get out of the Army, I would become a police officer and then a police helicopter pilot. Instead, I drove tanks, so that's sort of the opposite of being a helicopter pilot, because tanks don't fly. Uh, and so I skipped the helicopter pilot part and went right into police officer stuff.